Hi, I'm Stacy Adams, Quality Assurance Nurse for Clearwater Council of Governments. Trips and falls create a high risk for injury with people with developmental disabilities, but if we know what to look for, we can decrease that risk. Trips and falls can come out of nowhere, but being aware of the causes can help prevent them. Simple things such as throw rugs, extension cords, slippery surfaces, obstructions in front of doorways can present a fall risk. Remember individual specific factors, such as poor eyesight, poor balance, any assistive devices that the individual may be using, also any medication that may contribute to them having poor balance. First and foremost, familiarize yourself with the individual service plan. When getting ready to head out for the day or moving around the house, make sure any walkways or hallways are clear of debris or trip hazards. Ensure that the person served is wearing well-fitted shoes and make sure that any assistive devices that are being used are in good working order. And while it may seem obvious, ensure that the lights are on and the area is well lit. In the event of a fall, assess the individual for injuries, especially any head injuries that may have occurred. Assess the individual for pain and observe the range of motion where pain is present. If there was any injury, stabilize the area and contact medical professionals. Remember, falls may be a risk, but they shouldn't keep a person with developmental disabilities from living their life. So be safe and enjoy your day.